Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the new Terminator film, Terminator Gen Genesis, Gen Genesis. It's Terminator 5, and it's the one that brings back Arnie and, well, not a hell of a lot else. My whole life I prepared my son to lead humanity in the fight against the machines. On this night, we take back our world! Now let's talk about the story first. It doesn't make any sense. The franchise is at a point where it knows it's had four films that keep traveling back and forth in time, changing events, and even it doesn't know what has actually happened at this point. Now the film tries to remedy this by having characters actually say to one another, this doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. And they're trying to be self-aware, fair enough, but it just comes across as lazy. John. Hi, Mom. How can you be here? As for the cast, you've got the very talented Jason and Amelia Clarke coming off of Game of Thrones and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. And then you've got Jai Courtney, God bless him. But ultimately, the characters in this film have dialogue that is so shallow and forced that all of this talent is wasted. Except Jai Courtney, who, based on the last Die Hard film, actually improved. Now I've said in the past how much I love it when a franchise film makes reference to its earlier entries. But Terminator Genesis literally recreates scenes from the first two movies, and it makes them awkward and clumsy, and even relies on them as opposed to coming up with a coherent story. Now the one saving grace of this film has to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's kind of off doing his own thing, and he's funny, he's enjoyable to watch, and he's probably the only person that actually gets that he's in a bit of a joke of a film. And for that, he almost makes it watchable. It is nice to meet you. I've been trying to teach him to blend in. Look, at its best, Terminator Genesis, is a mildly entertaining blockbuster. At its worst, it's a clumsy parody of itself that makes you want to go out of the theater and rent Judgment Day. I'm gonna give it two stars, just for Arnie.